Hey Fragheads and Fragrance Lovers, welcome back. It's Benjamin here at the Centaur Fragrance Channel reviewing another beautiful fragrance. So thank you so much for popping in today. I really do appreciate you. So today we're going to be reviewing none other than Baldus Serini's uh, Cologne Concentrate. This is a hidden gem. Not many people talk about this. If you're a gentleman and you're into the uh, bar barbershop, you know, fougere kind of scents, but a little bit more on the modern side, the aromatic side kind of things like Platinum Egoist and Eau Sauvage, you're really going to want to hear about that. And to me, that's kind of where I tend to go uh, for, you know, Terre d'Hermes, Eau Tres Fresh kind of territory for, you know, modern, uh, maybe a little bit more aromatic, cit uh, citrusy uh, kind of, you know, fougere leaning fragrances. So this one is not going to be a disappointment, guys. This is citrus. It has lemon and tangerine and mint off the top. Really nice combination. I love tangerine and it really adds a nice balance with the citrus. So it's the citrus lemon isn't too sharp here. It is noticeable. Noticeable. It does have some personality, but it's really rounded out, and I think there's a little bit more tangerine than there is lemon. Uh, the mint here is also blended re really nicely, making it very refreshing and invigorating, and also making the fragrance really, really likable. And I love mint. Y'all know I'm a big, big sucker for that mint. So really really nice fragrance also after the kind of the top dissipates or maybe even in the top of the fragrance you'll notice a very interesting uh kind of almost like a nuttiness almost like an interesting uh you know addition to the fragrance almost like tarragon would do and it's caraway seed and i've never experienced or I've, i don't remember a lot of fragrances that have that kind of note to it so this caraway seed has a light, almost floral nuttiness to it that is in the background. Again, this fragrance is pretty smooth. It's kind of hard to pick out the notes, but you can notice a few of them. And the caraway seed really adds a nice, um, you know, kind of golden touch and really adds a little bit of depth and a really nice transition from the top to the mid of the fragrance you know with some patchouli to this fragrance so this fragrance then has some patchouli and then it has some sandalwood some creaminess again adding to the rounded smooth nature to this fragrance it's it's still fresh it still has you know some of the classic you know cologne fougere type of vibes to this fragrance and the patchouli is a, probably the biggest player in this fragrance but everything plays or plays so nicely together. It's so well done. Again, the caraway adds this nutty floral quality to the patchouli. The patchouli is on the that uh, fresher, cleaner, more of the on that golden side of things, almost like acting like a resin, like a golden resin would, like almost like a frankincense. And I really like when patchouli does that, especially in these cologne style fragrances. So if you like the fresher patchoulis and the easier to wear patchoulis, this stuff is just going to be very simple sensual and easy to wear again gentlemen you really got to check this one out and this would be also a really not good fragrance to check out if you are interested in dabbling into the classics this one here cologne concentrate by balda serini or um, even you know the leak pour homme are really good values for the money and and then you could possibly get into some of the more expensive classics the real classics like platinum egoist or eau sauvage if you do want something perhaps that are a little bit more trendy and perhaps a little bit easier to wear perhaps uh, for some people here you know getting into 2020 i'm not disrespecting the green fragrances and the heavy dark oak moss fragrances some people truly love those but i do think that these citrus aromatic leaning fougere kind of esque fragrances are a little bit more approachable and perhaps wearable for the average person and i think that this is actually a good way to start to see if that if you are interested in more of the green fragrances this would be a good way to start so it's a Balda Serini fragrance. Uh, before we jump into the performance, I do have to say that, the, you know, again, this is connected to Hugo Boss. This isn't exactly niche quality, but it is a step up, you know, from Hugo Boss. And you're getting really good quality and often really good values. And we'll talk about the price later on with this fragrance. This is a really good value for your money as well. Certainly worth checking out. So performance-wise, you will get probably seven hours. I got about seven hours out of this fragrance for a cologne fragrance or a cologne-style fragrance. This is actually pretty darn good performance. I actually think it's really nice, and it actually projects uh, pr decently. It will, it can get noticed. So for a cologne fragrance, this is actually pretty outstanding performance. The patchouli really does carry the fragrance, but again, there's sandalwood, and everything is just done so well. It really does a great job. 
So outstanding fragrance, uh, really well done. And, you know, there's not a lot that compares to this fragrance, but if you're familiar with the freshness of uh, or the lightness of perhaps, you know, Prison Blues of Patchouli from IDEO, the Patchouli in that fragrance, or even Silver Shadow by Davidoff, you know, you might know what this uh, Patchouli can do. It's so smooth. It's, it's, it's so almost like elegant and carefree. But Patchouli always has a sensuality behind it, which is also always really, really nice. So great, pretty good performer for a fresh fragrance. I can't, uh, I can't uh, dislike it. Again, perfect for the office where it has the right amount of performance. Great for the businessman. Great for the office. Great for a professional man. Uh, this fragrance would be, would be so easy to wear and pull off, and it's it's it, and it would be a charmer as well. So. Nice fragrance. Uh, compliment factor wise, I didn't get a lot of compliments where I was chased down, but this fragrance again exudes an air of uh, prestige and uh, quality just like a lot of these classic Fougere fragrances do. A lot of these real classic fragrances have a distinct uh, you know, quality about them that makes you automatically uh, smell refined and confident and people really know that you mean business uh, when you're wearing a suit and when you're looking really sharp and you're smelling like a classy gentleman. Uh, you know, people tend to, you know, approach you, speak to you differently, and they, they know that, you're, you know, there's something different about you. You, you know, you're clean shav shaven, you're well put together, you're, you're looking really nice and all that good stuff, and you speak really nicely, and then you put on the extra effort to also smell like a refined gent. You know, this fragrance is one of those types of fragrances that really gets you, you know, that respect. So you won't get chased down, probably. You probably won't get people, you know, thinking it's super seductive. But will it get you respect and will it, you know, will it leave a good impression? You know, first impressions, I, I don't say that this all the time, but don't forget that your first impression sometimes is your last impression. And sometimes, you know, first impressions really stick to people. And some people don't give you a second chance. So make sure that you always leave the best first impression that you can and uh this fragrance can do that and trust me it does and um you know great for you know again a gentleman you know the younger guys who are in the what the ysl wise and this is getting into my final thoughts you know the ysl wise and the savages and these really trendy fragrances they might not understand this fragrance yet but i think that once you get into your 20s maybe if you're an old soul or, you know, a little bit mature for your age, maybe you can get into this fragrance, you know, in your 20s, even though this is a very kind of more modern, wearable, patchouli, fougere-esque fragrance. I think that you really have to be getting 25 or maybe 25 plus to really understand or, you know, understand and respect this fragrance. And, you know, this perhaps, again, would be best for formal professional situations. But also, it's so it smells so good. Why not wear it when it, you know, wear it whenever you want. So, Anyways, uh, my final thoughts, one of the best uh, cologne style fragrances that I've ever smelled, one of the best fresh fragrances that also has some depth to it, but still is very wearable. It doesn't, you know, end up going dark or overtly woody or, you know, going too floral. It doesn't do uh, any of those things that sometimes are a big miss for me. This is a really good fragrance and again, excellent value for your money. You know, if you're into Histoire's de Parfums, you know, a lot of people are into those like the 1725s check this one out. This is seriously worth your money. You can pick this one up for sometimes as low as 35, but sometimes as much as about 45. Even if you paid $45 for this one, I think it's worth the money. It is a little bit smaller of a bottle. It is a 75 mil or a 2.5 ounce, but even if you were to pay about 45 bucks for this, money well spent if you do like patchoulis and you like, you know, citrus aromatic, you know, modern takes on what a fougere fragrance kind of is. So, Really nice fragrance here. Check it out. Worth the money. Uh, high quality, refined, elegant gentleman. If you want to smell refined and you know well put together, this fragrance will do it for you. So I hope that I showcased a beautiful fragrance for you guys. It's a hidden gem. It's completely under the radar. And uh, there's only a few fragrance reviewers who have done a review of this one. I certainly think it's worth checking out. It's worth the time, and I think it's worth your money. So uh, wonderful fragrance, Baldo Serini Cologne Concentrate. Let me know if you've tried this fragrance down in the comment sections below. Let me know, do you like more of the classic green fougere fragrances with the oak moss and the heavy green notes? Or do you like, you know, the classic, more of the aromatic, 
fresher side of things like with Osavage and Platinum Egoist. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know if you like patchouli and let me know if you've ever tried or even heard of this fragrance or Baldo Serini at all. So I'll see everybody. Have a beautiful day. Wear what you love. Rock what you got. And if you do want to help this channel grow, if you did like what you saw here today, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video, and tell a friend. So I'll see you next time, everybody. Wear what you love again. Don't forget it. And I'll see you next time on the next video. Have a good one. Peace out, everybody. And bye.